Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Red Trigger, and today we're playing some GTA 5. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of my cars, uh, not in order of when I got them. However, it will be, I will tell you about when I got them, if I can remember. A lot of this stuff happened quick. Like, a lot of these were just purchases that I decided to get. Like, it wasn't like, oh man, I want to get the T20, or oh man, I want to get the X80, uh, and then it took me like a month to get. These were cars that I were like, hey, this car looks cool, let me go ahead and just purchase it. So there's a lot of cars, odds are I won't remember. So, let's just go through these. So the first car, if I can show it without <laughs> without exposing too much. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, Italy GT. I'm going to go in the first person. The Itali GT, some people call it. I don't know why. Some people are stupid. Um, I got this. This is one of my newest cars. This is my second newest car. I, I got it. Uh, I, oh God. I'd say I probably got it three months ago. This was more of just a car that I wanted to buy just because I thought it would be cool to get. And uh, so sure enough, I just fucking bought it. So yeah, that's all you need to know about this car. Not much to it. The next car is the Nero, the cousin to the Adder. I probably got this car... Um, I don't remember, yeah, yeah, okay, I got this car right before I bought that one, by only like two days or so, again, this is probably like four months ago or so, three or four, let's see if we can find that, okay, here we go, the X80 I probably got like two months after its release, uh, this is back in like, I want to say December, while I was waiting for the, uh, the Shitaro to come out, I was like, hey, I've got more than enough money to buy the Sotaro and the X80, so why not buy the X80? So I did. It's by far, when it comes to sp not speed, but acceleration, it's the best car, and as long as you can handle its control, you're fine. Alright, so let's go into the next car. Uh, RE7B. Okay, so this car I kind of fucked up on, because I knew it was the best car in the game, 100%. Um, and so this was, this was when it had just came out, and it had been out for like a week. I knew it was the best car in the game. Like, it was it was like you were using a modded car. It was insanely good. So one night, after about a week of it being out, I bought this thing, and, uh, you know, I was chilling, relaxing, thinking I was all cool and whatnot. The placebo effect was kicking in, and I was thinking, God damn, this is an amazing car. I'm winning every race. Not realizing, really, I'm just a really good racer, so no shit I was winning every fucking race. Um, and then that night, I was just chilling out. You know, I was watching YouTube, and I saw, hey, uh, so-and-so uploaded the video. Come to find out, that uh, the day before, uh, this car got a nerf. So, the entire time that I was thinking that it was a good car, really, it was just a placebo effect making me think, like, oh, yeah, this is the shit. But no, it really wasn't. The next one. Ah, okay. The Tyrus. And a lot of these were just random buys. I only got them because, you know, they look good, and uh, I wasn't really thinking about it. Anyway, so the Tyrus I got for two reasons. For one, it is the McLaren F1. If I can find a picture of it in real life, I'll put a picture here. And the second reason is because it had the best control out of every car. And I still stand by that. You know, the Entity used to be the the first best when it came to control, and I would use that in damn near every race. Uh, but when the tires came out, it definitely blew every other car control-wise out of the water. No question about it. So let's go on to the next car. The T20, okay. So the T20... Um, I mostly bought this, again, I have two reasons for buying this car. The first reason is because in real life, it's the McLaren P1. So that's the McLaren F1. This is the McLaren P1, which is the newest model of McLaren uh, up until, um, I can't remember the name of it, but the, some car just recently came out that's the McLaren, and um, it's it's topping this one right now. But the, the P1 was my favorite McLaren at the time uh, of buying this car, and so still... I still stick to that. I still love this car. It's a masterpiece. Um, and also, at the time, it was the fastest car until it was topped out by the uh, the X80. So, yeah. Uh, next car, if if there is one. No, there's not. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the second floor and uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, so the next car, you all know this car. It's the Adder. Um, I had to get this just because it's it was a record breaker for the longest fucking time. I think this is an original car. I don't think this is a DLC car. I, I like the way I made it too, being that it's green, black, and with the classic tires and whatnot. I, I think that looks really nice. I'm a I don't use this car ever, but I'm never gonna sell it just for the fact that it is a classic GTA 5 car. And that's pretty much it about that. Now this one, I got because I was in a phase, and I'm still in this phase. I, I love gold. I love gold and with white. And so I saw that they had a car with giant rims, so I decided to make it kind of, um, not Gucci, but the, uh, what's that, what's that brand with, um, 
it's it's got like a K and it's on purses and you see it everywhere. Um, I didn't get it because it's a copy of a purse, but uh, it is an amazing looking design because it's it's an iconic design that's on purses in real life. I don't know the name of it. I can't remember. The next thing is, uh, of course, I also got these like Aztec looking wheels on them. I really like this. All right, now the next car that we got here, this is inspired by the Joker. So for the longest time, I, I made my character the Joker. And the reason for it was because uh, two Halloweens ago, the Joker was out and not many people were doing it. And the Joker is by far one of my favorite people and in DC or just superhero, you know, super villain, uh, things like that. I'm not very into comics, but what I can say is the Joker is by far uh, one of my favorites. Absolutely. It's fucking awesome. So, yeah, I used to have the Joker and whenever uh, my character would drive in this car, you just, you know, you'd see the Joker with purple and, and green in a purple and green lowrider. And it was just so fitting because he's that kind of like, not hipster, but he's kind of like that pimped out super villain that everybody wishes they could be like. But at the same time, you don't want to be like him because he's insane. All right, so the next car is the Jester. Okay, so the Jester, the only reason why I... This was my first car. This was my first car I ever bought in this game. That's the only reason why it's still here. Uh, other than the, the fact that anytime I get into a race and it's sports, I only use this car. I don't use anything else because uh, I don't have anything else. I don't like sports cars. Um, so yeah, there's that. Why is this all the way back here? Okay, so this car, um, just like many of the other cars that I bought, the, uh, the fucking the Adder, the Italy, the Nero, the X80, the RE7B, this was just a purchase that I, I just I just did. I don't know. There's, there's nothing I can say. I just did it. And this was today. I literally bought this car. It's now been two hours. I bought this, I bought this car two hours ago. So, you can see, I kind of have a problem with spending money in this game. Anyways, yeah, so I really like this car. One more fact about this car, actually, is this wasn't just a re uh, random purchase. I really did want to get this car because this, alongside the McLaren F1 and the McLaren P1, this is the McLaren MP4-12C, uh, which is a car that was made in 1995. That's why it's kind of got this, like, Toyota uh, Prius look to it. You know, it's, it's, I like this car. I like this car a lot, but I will say it's very, very old style. Like, like, uh, not old, old as in, like, um, you know, some of the other cars that you might see in GTA 5, but it's definitely up there. I can honestly say that. And because it is my, my newest car, I still like to roll in it, so um, I'm going to drive this car over to my next garage. I'm going to show you that car, and uh, I've got one more place after that to show you. And then after that, I'm probably going to do some races in this. Oh. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, right here. So I don't want this car to go inside because I don't, you know, I want it to stay in my CEO fucking pole. I want it to stay in my CEO building, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go inside. Right here, all I have is my Karuma, and uh, for those of you who know why, um, I shouldn't have to say anything, and I'm not going to say anything because I'd like to keep this account. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm entering my motorcycle clubhouse. Not anything too fancy. I'll sh I won't show you around just because this isn't a clubhouse showing type of video, but I will show you what I have in here. I've got, um, I think three motorcycles, I want to say. Alright, so the first bike that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Hakuchu Drag. It is by far the best bike in this game. I fucking, oh, I love it. I love it. So good. So good. Uh, so here it is. You guys can see it in all its glory. It's fucking amazing. So I really like this bike. <clears throat> One of my favorite things about having a uh, clubhouse is I can um, I can literally just grab this bike, put it in there, and I can fix it up, and I can do whatever I want to it. That's fucking cool. All right, so the next thing uh, that I'll show you guys is... Okay, there we go. I really like this bike. I don't know what made me want to buy it. Probably because of how cheap it was, alongside how much customization I heard it had. Really made me kind of fall in love with it. I've got, I'm rocking the white and blue over there. And I'm, walk, I'm rocking the black and red over here. I, I just, it's fucking awesome. Um, I really like that combo right there. All right, so here's the next bike. I can't tell you why I have this bike, actually. All right, we're going to sell this right now. How do you sell it in here? Can you sell it? No, I don't think you can. All right, all right, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I guess I'm not selling that um, at all. Whatever. Um, and the last bike that I'm going to show you guys is this. I, this is 
this was the bike that I was excited for, and with that being said, I'm going to take it out because, you know, it glows. <laughs> fucking awesome. It's the Shitaro, or as me and my friends like to call it, and everybody that I fucking knows likes to call it the Tron bike because it lights up and it's a Tron bike. Really, really fun motorcycle. I love this bike. It's a really, really good bike. Um, not in terms of, I guess, the quality of it. Like, it doesn't, it's not the fastest bike. It doesn't have the best control. It doesn't have anything on the Shitaro. However, it just, I mean, you can't argue the design. I'm going to, I'm going to play a race, see if we got enough time, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Which sucks. Unless you're going to buy shark cards, then uh, for online. Although, uh, quite honestly, I'm not going to talk. I've never spent, shark, uh, spent money on shark cards in this game, but uh, I have on other games. I'm going to see if I can do all that. This is not a bad car. The control is good, but I think it gets that from the Tyrus. Especially if you have, like, like, okay, you gotta search for this kind of thing, because it's not something that you'll find often. But if you can get into, like, a 24 lobby, oh my god. Just 24 people all trying to do stunts all at once. It's so addicting. It's so fucking fun. Yeah, the control of this car isn't that great. I guess that's why it's not as much as... So the, the price of this... Uh, this car in comparison to other cars. This was like a 1.3 1. 1. million dollar car, I think. And then my Tyrus was like 2 million. My T20 was like 2.1 million. The X80 was like, uh, Jesus Christ, I barely made that. My T20, I can't remember how much it was. It was probably like 1.9. Um, and so in comparison, there's a reason why this car is nowhere near as much as uh, either of those cars. Oh, 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 if I had made that, I would have, I would have laughed. Yeah, I'm not too fond of this car, really. I probably won't end up using it for much longer. I'm probably just going to switch back to, like, the X80 or the, or the Tyrus or the RE7B. All of those are really, really good cars. Yeah, this one, I'm really not too fond of it. I don't like the controlling. It's a, it's a, it's a speed, it's a fast car. The, the acceleration is nowhere near as close as, uh, to the X80. But it's not a bad... Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Why oh, are you so much a fool? This isn't gonna work. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, the acceleration and the control just are nowhere near the X80 and the tires. And even the RE7B has control over this. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I do apologize for my raspy voice. I probably sound like Lil Wayne throughout the entirety of this video, which is a little sad to say. But at the same time, I can't really control it, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, yeah, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I think I already said that. I can't remember. Uh, whatever. Peace. Plus a whole lot wiser. I might advise you or I might pulverize you. I can visit any city, get respect in the street. While you alone in your room, shook the death of the streets. I'll take a second to speak. I keep my weapon in reach. I ain't talking romance, but you'll get swept up your feet. I keep some ghetto chicks.